<laughs> Easy! How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Now that Christmas is over, I can finally get back in the garage and get some parts painted up so we can get this engine in the damn truck because I'm sick and tired of looking at this truck sitting without an engine in it. It's not going to be on this video we get it back in the truck, but it's going to be closer. That's for damn sure. So before you can paint anything at all, I got to do my normal, you know, clean up the bench thing again. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have the same problem with your bench. Because it never fails. It always seems like I'm cleaning this bench up. It drives me crazy. Look, I got everything. Bird feeders, you name it. It's here, Captain. Should put a screw up there or something to hang this thing up, maybe here. I gotta adjust the motor on the compressor too. It's cocked over. It's making some weird noises. I'll tell you one thing, as you get older, it gets hard to find the motivation, doesn't it, you old fellas out there? Anything like me, the motivation is not there. I can understand why some of my buddies' old cars have been sitting in the garage for years and not running. Because they get into this and then they just lose motivation and you're all cocked over. Leave a comment down below if you're one of them guys that have a hot rod in the garage. It just doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. You know what we need to do? We need to hire students to come over and finish a goddamn thing for us. I tried that at my work. I have a kid working at the work there that's kind of just got out of high school and I don't think he's got any ambition enough to do anything for me. So I was gonna ask him, but it's like everything else. Nobody wants to do fuck all. What a mess in here I got going on. Does anybody need a mask? Cause I sure the fuck don't want them. Oh, let's put them in here just in case. Got some more C clamps we do. Me and Steve there shared them from work. So we need another C clamp. We got one. There they are. This can go down here. This can go back over here. This can go back over here. This can go back down here. I sure the fuck don't need a nozzle up here right now. Put that over there. Screw gun snap on. Don't really use it, but we'll put that up my ass. Let's put it down here. Over here. Not there. How about here? Nope. How about here? Nope. Over here. Okay. All right. There. Got another drill over here. I got drills everywhere, Jim. Oh, yeah. I was putting that away, wasn't I? It's got to go over here, Jim. Put her in there. Oh, we can take this. Put that in there. Oh, Carol. Shut that. Pick up mono. That's for the bathroom that I bought that I haven't done yet. That's from a trailer. That can go there. Wires and this and that and the other fucking things can just stay right there for now because I don't know what's going on there to be honest with you. Let's just hide that for now. Might as well charge up these batteries. That one's charged so I can stay there. That one's charged so I can stay there. If I wasn't so DeWall addicted, I'd change to Makita or Milwaukee. But I'm kind of addicted as you can see to the DeWalt right now. And you can't just change because you can't, right? Is that what I'm saying? We got a blind over here in the way. It can be moved. It's gonna take that in the house for something. I can't remember what. Oh, one of the bedrooms are busted. Might put that in there. Got a transmission in my way. So we can move this thing. This thing crushed my finger. I'm scared of it right now. Look at it, it's stuck on something. Why wouldn't it be stuck on something? Fuck off. Okay, we gotta work on that in a minute anyway. Got my starter ready to go. Thanks, Steve. Gotta pay him for that, like I said on the other video. It can go back here. Okay. Oh God, look at the shit I got. Boys, girls, peoples. How does this even happen? Are you getting dizzy yet? Let me know if you still like it on my head. Oh, another thing too. You don't want to use these glass like I am. I've had a couple break on me. The bottoms fall out of them when they get cold. So if you're going to use glass jars like I am, have an eye, just one eye. Okay, there we go. Bird feeder can hang up. I gotta get the rest of my bird feeders. They're all outside still. They're gonna get cocked over. Garbage. Drink of coffee. Ah, decent. Garbage. That can go in there. This can go over here. That can go garbage. Recycle. There we go. Perfect. Garbage. Scissors. Pan. Gotta paint that today. That can go over here. For now, this garage is way too small have this much shit laying around then i wonder why i get frustrated fuel line can go there that thing let's clean up this corner now 
I'm gonna stop talking for a minute and just get this done because I'm getting irritated. keep that one separate because that's my old one just in case I have any issues we'll put that right there oh that's heavy holy cow I don't know about that one Transdapt. I'm gonna get that back to Steve too later, sooner or later. But I don't need it either. Do you ever see the price of a friggin' one of these are like $167 for an EGR valve? Holy! Not cool. Oh, there's that one that broke. See? Decked. I'm keeping that just in case for some stupid reason. What's this? Transmission coolant fittings. Yeah, those are gone. I can go over here. That can... Oh, fuck this thing. Imagine this thing. Hey, why would that be sitting there for like months? The old drone friggin' floater. I can go down there for now. LED lights for the Kia. Since we're gonna use them like now. I wonder if they're the same in that car. We'll have to find out. I doubt it, but you never know. All right, so now that we got those gaskets cleaned up, let's set them somewhere where you can just go for them later, which is up here among the other shit. There we go. That makes me feel better. Get out of my way. That over there. What's this? Knock sensor. That's got to go on the block. Ah, brother. Some new cans. I'm going to get that company. You know that company that sponsors all the big channels with all our nuts and bolts? Why don't you come over to the dirty old Bilsa's and help him out, eh? I need nuts and bolts shelf, too. Look at my garage. How do you expect me to work like this? Help all the big channels, but, you know, fuck all the rest, eh? Why wouldn't you? Put them over here for now. Put that over here for now. Put that back over here for now. Along with my chalky chalky. There we go. There we go. We're getting there, Jim. This is all my connections for the fuel lines, which can go over here for now. See, that's what I gotta do. I gotta put everything over here and give myself room over here where I need it. I can go over here for now, because I don't know if I'm gonna have to reuse that or not, so we can't let that go anywhere. We're gonna need not that. We're gonna need that. I'm gonna hold on to that for now, just in case of here. That can go over here. All these gaskets can go in the garbage. You know where that goes. Can't throw that out. That's part of a transmission seal. Better keep that. Bolts, nuts, this and that's and the other freaking things. That can go in here. That's it. Oh no, this can go in here. Oh no, this can go in here. Um here? Yep. <sighs> This is for this, we need that, we need this. I need a new one of them, I need one of those. We need that and this and the other friggin' thing. Those bolts can go here, I don't know what they're for. These ones can go here, I think they're for the engine mount. That thing there can go on the vise in time. This can go in the garbage, that can go in the garbage. That can go in the garbage. This can go in the garbage. That can go up there. This can go here and there and everywhere. That can go over here, this is garbage. This can get out of here. That can go over here. This can go up here where it belongs. Yes, yes, yes. No, maybe. How about here, yes. There's my power washer nozzles. I wonder where the hell they went. Put them on my bench. Buried them. There we go. Thought I'd had to buy new ones of them, but I guess not. Should have vacuumed that off, but we'll do it later. This is Brian's. It's gotta go back to Brian's. Drink Gavi. I can go over there for now, wipe this up. This is all my oil lines and shit for the engine over here, which we need to put on soon. This here, not too sure what I got going on there to be honest with you. I got a Russell connection for the fuel line to change it to an AN6 fitting from that line, I hope. I hope I bought the right one. Looks like it, so that's what that's for, for down in there. 
down where the fuel line is because I'm running ANs up to AN6 up. This here is the cameras in Stacy's car. This camera's still working pretty good in Stacy's car. It doesn't like the cold, but it works pretty decent. So if you're looking for a camera for cheap for a dash cam, it's still working really good. Comes with a couple extra mounts and another extra cord and this and that and the other thing. Now we can throw the box out because I'm not returning a $30 camera. There you go, Joe. So yeah, works pretty good. We got extra cords. Those are old school cords. Who even uses that anymore? This is gonna be an exciting video. I'm gonna be wore out by the time I'm done cleaning up. I got this for the block on the car, uh, truck, but we don't need that either. Cause this truck don't have uh, a hole for a fuel pump. We can get rid of all these nuts and bolts, which are for inner fenders by the looks of it. So they can all come over here for now and join my group of nuts. <laughs> inner fender wells won't be going in until spring anyways. I'll tell you that right now. I know that's a big washer. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, Jim. Let's just get all this stuff off my tunnel cover. It's gonna cock it over. Oh, I know what those are for. These are for my valve covers. ARP stud bolt things for my valve covers. So there should be eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Which can go, I don't know, right here. You know what's gonna happen. When I go put this back together, you're gonna be missing all sorts of shit. All these connections are no good, so they can go in here. That one I might use, I'm not sure yet. Gauge, we're gonna put a gauge in because I don't wanna rely on a dummy light on a new engine. Leave your comments down below if you feel the same as me. That can go in there because that's the rest of the parts for that. That can go in there, pull out of that. That can go over here, this can go over there. That can go over here, this can go over there, and that can go here. Do you understand? I don't. Camera, haven't hooked that up yet. Video to come, year 2024. Stick around for that one. No, it's gonna go in this truck is where it's going. So once we get it running, we'll stick that in. All right, we got wipers back here and everything now. Wipers, look at the pile of shit in the back of this truck. Oh my God. God almighty, is this truck ever gonna run again? I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Look at my tunnel cover. It's getting all cocked over. Whatever. It's all good. Hang that up there. This over here. And I think we're almost there. Hey, look it. I got some stickers from Cletus's group there. I still haven't hung them up yet anywhere, hey? Eh? Does anybody else have stickers from Cletus's channel? I do. I support the old Cleter. Maybe one day he'll support me and saying, hey, go check out dirty old Bills of. That's what makes our channels thrive. I might put them on my door here, but the door kind of needs cleaning. Yeah, we won't do that. Okay, so now that we're done most of the shit work, tomorrow's video, we'll paint. I'm just joking. Today's video, we're gonna paint right after I get set up here. I'm not gonna get too carried away with these because you're not gonna friggin' see them anyway. Like you'll see this side of it, and you'll see this side of it, and then you'll see this side of it. Maybe. So, let's not get too carried away with these. They're ready to go. This part here, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use it, but we'll get it cleaned up and we'll paint it anyways, just in case I change my mind. Because you never know with me, I might change my mind. I use this stuff here, wax and grease remover, before I paint anything. I don't know if you guys use that or not. Leave a comment down below if you do. But let's see what we're gonna use here. We're gonna use flat. No, we're not gonna use flat, because the engine's flat. Let's go gloss on this. Semi-gloss. Oh, I gotta buy paint. I'm getting low on paint, Captain. What do we got here? Gloss, gloss, and they're almost empty. Please tell me I have more paint. Oh my God, Captain, I can't even paint. I even got 90 gram paint. Flat black. Oh God. You mean I gargled up all that paint? Holy. What do we got here? Glossy. Oh, I might have enough to do it. Perfect. So I'm gonna shut this fan off so it doesn't blow it all over my truck. I only run that now when I'm in here because it's too goddamn expensive. I'm gonna paint right on the bench here because my bench needs a new paint job. So I'm not even gonna worry about covering her up, Jim. Look at that, eh? That's decent. There we go. Give her a turn. Perfect. Turn. Perfect. Down the side. There we go. Down this side, 
There we go. I'll tell you right now, I didn't wipe that part off very good, but it's all good, Jim. And then we'll give her a little squirt inside, just here and there. And then we'll flip her over and do it better, of course. But when I flip her over, you might not see them spots, so I might as well hit them. Okay. So there's the first coat on them. We'll give this a coat. Perfect. If anybody's wondering what that is, it's for the wires for the uh, starter. So they don't get burnt on the header. All right, there we go. Okay, so we'll let that tack up and we'll uh, get this piece out up and we'll get it cleaned off. Oh boy, look at that thing. It's cocked right over. <laughs> Easy! I don't think that's supposed to be bent. We'll find out later. She got a hole in her, Captain. How does something like that get a hole in it when it's full of oil? Inquiring minds want to know. I have a feeling the power washer didn't do a real good job on that one. Just saying. But I get some material here. So it likes to remove that stuff. So I think it'll be all right. We'll just give her a wipe. There we go, look at that. That's beautiful. Should have wiped her first. See, now when I put this back on, I'll know if my engine's leaking or not because if it's leaking, it'll be covered in oil again, right? I have a feeling that's not supposed to be bent, but I'm not sure 100%. So actually, I actually almost guarantee it's not supposed to be bent like that. I'll tell you what, that stuff works good for cleaning off the grease. Wow, like look at it. It's gonna be beauty. Oh yeah. It even takes the skin right off your fingers. So that's pretty good. I better put that rag outside because that's strong. Whew. If you're using that stuff, put her outside, Jim. Because it's nasty. Come on, get on there. Okay, I'm gonna straighten this out just a little bit because I don't think it's supposed to be bent like that. Straighten that out. Straighten that out. Straighten that out. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Better than it was, yes. I'll straighten this out because I don't think that's supposed to be bent either. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Here's another thing you're not going to see. Okay, so now we'll give her a little scuffy, scuffy with an emery cloth. I'm not painting the inside of it. I'm just going to paint the outside of it because the inside you're not going to see. See, this is the stuff that's more tedious than anything. Getting stuff prepped to put back together. That almost takes the longest. All right, so now that's done, we can give her a coat, but we're gonna use a uh, semi-gloss high build. I don't have any left, but we're gonna see if we can squeeze some out of it. Because this stuff works really good. Comes out nice and thick. Sticks to just about anything, as you see. Even if we just get one coat of this and then put glossy on top. Look at that stuff coat, boys, girls, peoples. Isn't that beautiful? Fucking right it is. Look at that. That right there works awesome. It's a lot of money. High build enamel, fleet coat, good stuff. Look at it. Look at that thing. It goes on really nice too and shiny. That's what I used on my firewall. That's mint. I might put a little bit right there where it's beading. That way I can touch her up with the other stuff. If things fish eye on you, buy this stuff. It doesn't fish eye as bad. So if you're running into a problem where you're getting fish eyes, it looks like I have fish eyes, but it's just the rust spots, okay? Everywhere else is not fish eyeing at all. It's mint. So use that stuff and you'll be very happy with it. I'm telling you right now, it works good. But I get this stuff painted, I'm gonna let it set up and dry. And then we're gonna get the cherry picker out. Hopefully I got enough room back here to get this cherry picker out and lift this engine off this stand. We'll put the mounts on it. We'll put the transmission on it. And then we'll maybe swing it around and in. I don't know yet. We might have to back the truck out, but we're gonna see what's going on here. We gotta get this engine and tranny put together. I can't put the flywheel on until I get it off this stand or the engine mounts. So we'll get that done, lift her up, and then we're gonna be putting her in the hole here. So I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks, I really am, because I gotta get this done. But stick around if you wanna see that. Don't leave the channel yet. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I pour my heart and soul into this sometimes, so hopefully you guys appreciate that. But until the next one, love y'all. And we'll see you then.